What's good, players of Pimps, Holes, and Simpson, ladies? What's poppin'? It's your boy Zay, aka the baddest motherfucker walking, aka the Shogun, and welcome to my dojo. Make sure you double edge them swords so we can slice this video up. So it's not what I do when I like someone or when we are talking, it's what I do after we stop talking. I will leave you alone. If you don't have me in your life, I don't need to be there. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. In my head, when we stop talking, I will take things that you like, people you like, things like that, and I will be like, hmm, uh, they're going to see me. And by that, I mean, the last guy I was talking to, we stopped talking, and I got in with his favorite clothing company, and I, like, was talking to the photographer, I was doing free stuff, I was going to take photos for them, all this stuff. So it's really subtle, because then they'll be clicking through their favorite page, and they're going to be like, hey, is that you? And I'm like, oh my god. This bitch is stalker, and she don't even know she's a stalker. This bitch got issues, and she don't even know she has issues. So this is why I always say, yo, I don't know if I always say this, but this is something I do say, man. When you're a guy that a woman, like you're a dude with game, or you're a guy that a woman, you know, is really infatuated with, um really likes you're different one thing that you will experience a lot of the times especially if you're a guy who are, is a rejector like you have standards you stand on that shit you stand on business and you have to let women go you will experience a lot of stalkerish behaviors it's women fellas that i broke up with that i had to beg to leave me the fuck alone. Like they like they don't like like women just don't just just leave you alone. Like it ain't like there like I remember I seen this one video it was a dude he was like nah the, the relationship ain't over until a woman like until a woman wants it to be over. Because I've had situations and shit like that where the woman just won't go the fuck away. And the only way that she goes away is if when she's just done. Cause like, what do I look like calling the police, putting a restraining order on this bitch? You know what I'm saying? Like beating this bitch the fuck up. I'ma go to jail. Like it's nothing that I can really do. Everybody gonna think I'm just not being man enough. Like, so like when she's ready to just stop stalking me and leave me alone, I, it's, it's like the relationship ain't over that's the one dark side of what people don't tell you about becoming that attractive man becoming that man that women just 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 think is, is different women don't because like i tell you they don't have options like you really think they do and that proves that they don't really have options the stalkers behaviors they don't because they don't want to have to go out there and find and do all this other new shit and find a new dude and especially when you, you you're just perfect for them or at least that's what they believe they don't want to they not they're not going to leave you alone and if you're a guy who's never experienced that that would be something that 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 that's fun to you because it validates you but the one thing that you also have to understand is that it has nothing to do with you oh it has nothing to do with you it really doesn't it has everything to do with that woman which is why like it shouldn't validate you it shouldn't make you feel any type of way because you being a man shouldn't be predicated off the fact that you're just being a man for her you need to just be a man because that's what the fuck you are a man you should just be all of that naturally and she just benefits from that the worst thing that you can ever experience from a woman is indifference like i still have women to this day that still stalk my page well i'm not gonna say they stalk me but they still check up on me i still have women to this day and all of those women to this day if i wanted to go back if they had a boyfriend or whatever and I said yo pack your shit up and come home they would that's the only kind of beauty in that but nigga once I break up with a bitch once she showed me that she's not supposed to be in my life why the fuck would I go back to that and I'm not trying to go off on a tangent man I'm not trying to go off on a tangent but one thing that you guys need to know being attractive out in this world dealing with these women is that if you really become that guy you are going to have hell and this is why you have to be careful who you get in a relationship with you have to vet because some of these girls gonna have a if i can't have him nobody can have him mentality this is why i'm gonna be going to jail and you know she gonna try to probably set your ass up like especially if you mess with the wrong crazy ass girl you get what i'm saying 
and dudes who don't vet women who just fall head over heels, heels over beauty, you are actually at the highest risk of falling for one of these motherfuckers. Now she's at the lower end of stalker behavior, right? But there are women who go to great lengths and heights. And I'm sure you got stories. I still got, I got stories, man. I got stories, bro. I'm a dumper, y'all, fellas. I'm a dumper, I've always been a dumper. The last time I've been dumped by a girl was in, was my freshman year, no, was my eighth grade year, my eighth grade year, not my eighth grade year, high school, because it's not high school. When I was in middle school, and in my eighth, and I was in eighth grade, that was the last time I've ever been dumped by a girl. From there on in, every bitch that I didn't have, I dumped all of those bitches. Like, I just, like, it got to the point where I was so fucking tired of dumping bitches. I'm like, why the fuck ain't no bitch dumping me, man? Why can't I be dumped? Why I'm always doing a dumping? Because bitches don't live up to my fucking standard. Bitches are stupid. Or no, 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 I take that back. Bitches aren't stupid. I don't know how to pick them the right way. Or at least I didn't. I didn't vet them the right way. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. But guess what? In every instance when I broke up with a bitch, oh my God, dude, they don't, they don't just go, they don't go quietly, bruh. They don't go quietly. And like I said, I still got girls who, who, who still stalk me to this day. I remember, I remember it was this one girl. I literally just, I was going, I was going to the store. And I seen this one girl who she used to hang out with a girl I used to fuck. I never even was in a relationship with her. I used to fuck this girl. I took her virginity. And she was like, oh, yeah, man, how are you? Yeah. I'm like, what's up? You know what I'm saying? I ain't even ask her nothing about her from. It's like, what's going on and stuff like that. She's like, yeah, I was just talking about you, me and that that girl that I smashed. I'm like, oh, yeah. She was, she, and then she told me, she's like, yeah, she was, she was telling me that you moved out the country and shit like that. I'm like, how does this bitch know I moved out the country? We ain't friends nowhere on social media. So how the hell do she know that? She said, yeah, she still check up on you here and there. She said, you've been doing good in life and all this other shit. I don't even think about this girl. I totally forgot about the bitch. But I'm still on her mind. Maybe because I took her virginity. Hey, I don't fucking know. I don't even think about the bitch that took my virginity. You know what I'm saying? Like, But they'll never stop stalking you. Never. And like I said, that's the lower end of stalking. There are very high ends when it comes to stalking, fellas. So, when you're learning all this game and you're putting all of this shit down and you're getting women and all this other shit, man, this is the dark side of that shit. And like I said, she's on the lower end, but you have to be careful because there are women that are on the higher end of that shit. And especially if girl, especially if she a girl, she's telling you like, I've never been with no somebody like you. I thought you were out of, I thought I was, um, no, I thought you were out of my league. I didn't think I was your type. When you hear some shit like that, just know, be, be ready to be stalked if you ever dump that bitch. Be ready to be stalked. Cause on the opposite, cause on the other, when it's opposite, you know why bitches don't like dudes who, who, who fucking like them like that? Cause that's what happens. You're gonna become a fucking burden stalker predator bitch. And that's why when you tell girls like, oh my god, I never been with a girl like you. I didn't think I was you're my type. I didn't I can't believe I pulled you and shit like that. And she like, oh, you don't you don't deal with my type? Oh wait, I might I might have fucked up. Cause what happens if I don't want you anymore? What are you gonna do? That's why the niggas be killing these bitches sometimes. So yeah, man, I it ain't really too much for me to talk about, y'all, but the fact that the whole premise is though, like, you will, it ain't, bitches ain't good, they ain't going out without a fight, man. Women's not going out without a fucking fight when they, when you break up with their ass, you dump their ass. They not going out without a fight. I was in one of the most conservative countries in the, in the world, and I had a girl, and she probably still even watches my fucking videos on YouTube. I, I don't know. She, I remember, I had a girl, and dog, every time I tried to break up with her, and which I should like that. And that just see, this this just goes to show that motherfuckers just still ain't perfect. Cause I broke up with her a couple of times, but every fucking time, oh man, she got ready to put him up. She wouldn't leave, let me leave the house, man. She would cry and bleed. like I, it was. And there was nothing that I could do. I couldn't call the police. I couldn't like. I, and it's not like I could put my hands on her and throw her out of my crib. It was nothing. It's nothing. It's like you're so powerless. So fucking powerless. Like, I never felt so powerless in my life, yo. But the bitch would, she, like, and she would not, like, she wouldn't go. She would disobey her parents. 
knowing that she had to be at home at a certain time just to stay with me, just to make sure my ass ain't go to sleep mad, just to make sure I didn't go to sleep or I didn't leave if she didn't leave that house and we weren't back together or some shit like that. Like, it was, it was no escaping this bitch. And then like, if we didn't get back together, she'd come over the next day. Then the next day, oh man, she was obsessive. And like I said, to a beta male, this shit seems cool. But when you're used to a lifestyle like this shit, when you're used to bitches doing that shit, no, it's not. I fucking hate that shit. That's why like, I don't be really want bitches to be obsessed with me like that. Like, I don't, I don't like that shit because that shit come with deadly consequences, man. And it has nothing to do with me. It has everything to do with the insecurities and problems that she has. Which is why I don't feel any type of way. I don't get no validation from it. It don't make me feel like more of a man because she's acting obsessive over me and stuff like that. Don't get caught up in that shit, man. That's why I say I don't teach beta males. Because they don't never, they will never understand this shit. And they will see that as something that's cool. And let's say I teach a beta male some shit like that. And then the bitch end up killing him because he thought that shit was cool. He wanted to experience a bitch being obsessed with him or something like that. You know what I'm saying? And now he did, and he was my client. I could never live with some shit like that. But fellas, hope you enjoyed this. I hope you got some real quality game from this, man. I wish you guys nothing but wealth, health, happiness, and abundance, man. And it's your boy Zay DBE. And until next time, I'm out. Deuces. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. I probably die in the vocal booth. Spit 